All right, so let's do another uh, tutorial. Goodness gracious. Of my home that I have changed a bunch of stuff recently. So I figured I'd do a little updated. Um, it's a little bit of a mess right now. I did clean my floors, but I don't know. It just looks chaotic because I have sweaters and everything everywhere. <laughs> Guess I should have cleaned that up. Shh, we'll just pretend I like put my sweaters away when I'm done wearing them. But anyways, <laughs> here is my cabinet corner and I have a Hartley philodendron just kind of chilling, climbing around. Um, I'm tempted to cut all of those top vines off <laughs> and um, propagate them and just kind of have it a little more cleaner. I don't know if I really like the trailing look. I don't know. But then we have my Summer Glory, which I really love. And it is growing, I think, three new leaves in this whole system. There's like three of them in there. I think they're all healthy. I haven't really inspected this for a while, but nothing's like yellowing, so I mean, it's probably okay, right? Then we have a Golden Dragon. We have that guy who's barely but we're not going to talk about that because that was a thing. I have a fan. I'm propagating some pink princesses. Um, my painted lady. And now there's no, there's going to be some where I don't know the names. Because like I learn them and then I, I unlearn them somehow. They just like go away from my mind. So that's where we're at. Alright, this is my uh, Simagonium, if you will, shelf. Um, my couch. That looks like a sticker. What is this? My children. That's so great. Thank you. Um, anyways, we'll just throw that over there. So let's take a look. So we have a one landy, we have a mojito, we have this thingy, we have confetti, and then we have that's a rocks begonia. And that's a cat. Oh, there's another cat. And I have my zebra gloriosum. Um, another Syngonium, which looks like he needs water. Let's take a peek. So it's a little dry on the top, if I can get him out. <laughs> we'll do that later. Um, but yeah, that's a Plum Illusion. I think, I think. I might have been covering my phone, so hopefully not, because uh, then I'll have to like voice over and I hate that. But here is a Brazil. I have so many of these, I'm like tempted to get rid of some because I just feel like I want to minimize plants. Uh, there's my Meekins, um, Hoya, my Monstera, and then a bunch of random stuff thrown into the base. I have more Monstera, Addisonii, um, Pothos, uh, Begonia. I just have like a whole bunch of stuff in there. And I have a Hilo Beauty Alocasia, which I think is now Caladium, correct? I'm not sure. Pink Dragon Alocasia, an Aglaonema, uh, cat things. My Mayoi Philodendron, which I honestly, I think this is one of my favorite types of philodendrons. I love the fingers. I think it's a very beautiful plant, especially when it comes up with a new leaf. It's very green, obviously green with their plants. So. Um, I am propagating that guy, which is being difficult. Um, then we have this guy who's also being difficult, but we're not going to talk about him. Uh, we also have my pink splash, which is so pretty. It really is. I, I'm mildly obsessed with it. Uh, and I don't know what they look like when they're getting sad, because the whole thing just kind of looks like a, a bit of, like, pretty pink mixed with the side of diarrhea, um, but it's still pretty. It, it has its moments. Um, and then we have another cat. These, which I'm selling because yeah, I just, I'm done, I'm done. And then my um, Cebu, which got lengthy and I cut it and it regrew somewhere here on the vine. I can't really see where it was, but um, I did cut it back and then, um, Replanted some of those spots. Sorry if I'm like all jittery. I'm not very steady. And then we have my Selim Philodendron. That's the newest leaf. I don't know what happened when it was coming up. I wonder if it like when it was growing. Uh, this bleh, when the leaf was growing. I wonder if it was rubbing on this because it got 
some cuts and stuff on it and it looks like damage, not like bugs. So I don't, I'm not sure. Then we have a synapsis, which is just, he's loving life way too much. Um, my burlay, which I had mentioned to a couple people that I would share my thrip damage on here. So you can kind of see what happens if you have healthier plants that get thrips. You will see this like white um, veining issue on your plant. Kind of looks like little electric shocks going through your plant leaves. That's thrips. Like you've had a electrocuted snail walking across your leaf tips or leaves in general there. So a really good example of it. Tell me that doesn't look like a little snail just like kind of wiggles his ass all over my leaf with like electric shocks of death. But the leaf hung in there, so whatever, he's staying. This guy also had thrips. Except the damage was Okay, I am back, although you did not know I was gone because uh, I ran out of space on my phone. The usual, you know. But anyways, here is more uh, thrift, oh jeez, it kind of slipped out of my hand there. Um, there you can kind of see more of what the thrift damage looked like. And then it had these, hopefully that's not thrips back. I think that's just perma poop. You'll see like little black dots, kind of like that. Guys, pray for me. Please tell me that's... No, there's no new markings. Okay. <laughs> Don't scare me like that, plant. I cannot do it again. It's a lot of work getting rid of that. It's like months of work, I swear. And this was like this. part. This part was like this when I got it from the girl. She had it outside in really cold temps and like it just wasn't doing great. But he had two new leaves since I got him home these two and they're beautiful in my opinion so anyways moving on here's another corner um, it's you know it's kind of chaos I am going to actually minimize a lot of my plants and then talk about why and the reasoning behind that because I just feel like your spaces even if you love plants I feel like it can be done in a better way where you don't have to consume an entire space with just plants. They should be a more aesthetic um, addition to your home and not so much overwhelming. So I am currently in the process of doing the whole, does it bring me joy? Should I keep it? Should I set it free um, process? And if I'm not overly connected to it, I'm just going to um, remove it from my home and put it somewhere else or sell it give it to somebody else that way I can just have the ones that I'm like super obsessed with like my Florida here who just popped out this leaf yeah just like I mean it's been like a week and then he's already got got this guy coming out here um, and then we have this alocasia I'm gonna drop my phone we have this alligator, which I put straight into a self-watering pot, and he hasn't had much decline. There's been no growth, which is to be expected when you bring an alligator home for the first time. Um, I'm growing an avocado tree for my son. He really wants to do that, so that's that. My cupria. And then my laniata, which I don't love the way it looks when it's growing. Not gonna lie, it just looks gangly and just, ugh, I don't know. I don't really get the hype on all the Monsteras. I, I love them, don't get me wrong. I do have a variegated Addisonii, but I just, I don't know, they don't really do it for me as much as like a philodendron does. Like this, I feel like is so much beautifuler than any of the Monsteras. And here, I do have a Monstera elbow, which he's doing good. He has a new growth point coming up there. Finally, I stole him up for my mother. But like I'll probably take this off, give it away, and put that guy here because it's a different color, and then maybe put something smaller there because I just want to have it less chaos, if that makes sense. Um, we also have this, which I got from Lowe's. He hasn't grown a new leaf yet. It looks like one is coming in, but it's been like that forever, so I don't know. Death. So cute. Um, my Polly, and that's an Amazonica. Actually, so this part, this is a poly. And then we have Yucatan Princess and a bunch of random shit. My kids decorated a lot of my plants with these little like Lego bugs, so they are staying. Um, my Ivory Coast, I know I mentioned this before, got damaged from a spray that was told 
for me to use and it ended up killing all of my leaves so I was very pissed about that. My Elbow Syngonium. My Milo, which I'm going to be putting it in a self-watering planter with that one over there, the um, Longoloba, because I just, I, I want to combine a few plants together so that I don't have so many. Um, what else? We have my Velvet, which he is my test dummy for pawn in a self-watering setup. So far, we haven't had any leaves die. We haven't had any new ones either, so... And look at this variegated little meekin, you guys. Ugh, it's so cute. Um, I stole that from my mom too. Shh, it's okay. Um, and then we have my dining room. I'll restart my dining room. Uh, I just redid that and put that up. I don't like awfully love it, but everybody else seems to like it, so it's staying for right now. We have my Rojo Congo or Red Congo philodendron. Um, my Baltic, oh my god, Baltic blue, I'm losing my mind. Um, this is just the reg, basic, bitch, philodendron, green color. <laughs> um, this guy wants to be outside so bad. Look at all of this unhappiness. So I have severely neglected this poor thing. But I'm going to be putting him outside soon because the weather is getting better. But I have been a bad mommy with that guy. And I did tell my daughter 25 times to put that in her room today. She did not. So I'm going to wait until she gets home and then make her do it. Because I'm not going to do it. And this is one of my, I would say this is like one of my third or first plants that I got into my home. And really tried to learn off of it. And it was surprisingly a way too easy plant for someone trying to learn difficult plants but Jenny Peperomia it's a beautiful plant really it is and then we have this so I'm going to be getting rid of this Hoya it's very long it did pop out a leaf which is cute because that took about five years um, my string of turtles I just string of turtles just don't vibe with me very well I don't know why my dark lord um, my red emerald just put out a new leaf very cute this squiggly squaggly narrow escape he's yellowing a little bit on some sides he had really bad gnats and instead of repotting him I just kept treating it so I wonder if it pissed it off because I don't over or under water this guy he isn't in a base pot it's one of the only ones that I really don't have in a base pot um, but he seems to be okay other than that. I have a Burley Marks Variegated. If you want to be fancy, that I got that. <laughs> I just chopped the crap out of it and put it all in here. Uh, so we'll see if it works. Uh, this is my Macro Riza that I stole from my own shop because it was perfect and I had to have it for myself. So that's my one. And I chose one with less variegation because I wanted a stronger plant um, that would actually be able to sustain the white in the leaves that come up so that it doesn't um, go transparent or lose that. Um, we have my other pothos which I also feel like I'm neglecting. It's very light so I think I need to water them. Um, and then we have in here Here's another one. This has like a Snow Queen in it and a Marble Queen. Oh, not Marble Queen. Something, something, and another something. There's like, oh, here's a bug. It's very cute. Um, we have a carnivorous plant. Um, my cat did munch this guy and he's coming back, so that's cool. That thing, which I haven't watered in probably five years. Um, my little pawn uh, fungal test dummy. Um, that is a pink dragon. I need to put water in it. Uh, my dark board, which is actually for sale on our site right now. It's very pretty. It's very cute. I just have a big one, so I don't need it. My pink princess, which... I don't really get the hype on the pink princess. I really just think they're ugly. Um, but I wanted it because everyone was like, Oh my god, I want one. And I was like, well, why? Should I get one to see why? Because I just don't see beauty in it but maybe it'll come at some point um 
my string of turtles. It is variegated. I did kind of screw it up in the beginning and it lost all of its pink, which is not going to probably come back, even though there's some pink on this one, but I guess I'll wait and see. My freaking rabbit fern is going nutty but nutty, so these are all new. He loves he loves me. We're, we're besties because he loves me. I haven't actually looked in here, so we're doing this together. There's a whole bunch of things in there. Obviously that's death, but they're just Jay chilling over the edge there. Um, yeah, so it's a little messy because I am lazy and same with my kitchen, which I don't think I've ever brought you guys into my kitchen. But I have Aglaonema who is surprisingly staying alive. I just did this, it's the scraggliest freaking, I just had to cut it out of moving and then I was like, I can't throw it out, it's so sad. I have some um, trauma victims over here. They're recovering. Um, my cat knocked this guy over. He was over here. Maybe we'll we'll, we'll try it again. Um, so I have another salem here. A lot of these are gonna go outside, and this is all my recover my recovery bin. So we don't really show this on any social media any ever because he looks like shit. Um, my silver sword, which had really bad mites, but it's okay now. This guy's just, I don't know, he just hates me. We, we don't get along very well. This guy loves me. He will always be my bestie. Uh, my Gloriosum, the one leaf did go yellow. I don't know why. I think it was the stress of me repottering, pot, repottering, repotting it 15,000 times, but uh, the rest of the leaves were troopers about it, so whatever. And he is getting a new leaf, so. And then I have a begonia, which this one is for sale on our Etsy page. It's really big. Um, it's very pretty. And then this one I will list soon too, and once it gets good enough roots where I feel comfortable shipping it to somebody. Same with these, I have a Sinbad, I have this one. I have another one of these canes. I don't know if you guys have success propagating syndapsis, but I do not. And then I have more Winlandi, which are about to be potted up and also listed, because those are so pretty. Look at these leaves. I love them. But yeah, that is my tour. It's a little dark kitchen. I just cleaned today, so don't be thinking, oh my gosh, this girl's house is like cleaner than my... No, I freaking cleaned today like for two hours. So I faked that my house is like somewhat clean. So don't, don't be fooled. My house was a hot mess. A freaking, you should have seen the dust bunnies everywhere. It was really bad. My floor was full of sand and dirt because I'm working in my yard. It was a whole thing. <sighs> now I'm out of breath. Woo! And then we also have my cabinet before my thing cuts off because I have no space, but. I know I've taken video of my cabinet before, but look at this new fried egg leaf. It needs some love. This breaks my heart. I'm, I'm tempted just to cut it off and force new growth. Um, it just feels bad, you know, it feels bad. I don't know, I don't know. We have another little variegated fried egg, which we'll see. We have an Adora. We have a variegated pink dragon, which it looks bad, but it's not. That's the variegation. It looks like water damage. It's not. My um, strawberry shake, which is probably the one plant I'm like the most obsessed over. I like stock the plant. I do, I do. Uh, there's a bunch of other shit in here that I just, there's too much going on. I'm going to sell my Billetai. Um, I just would prefer to sell the baby and get a bigger one when I can because I just, I don't know, I hate waiting. I don't want to wait anymore. I just want the big one. So, you know, we're gonna go big or, or go home. Um, and then we just have a, a freaking jamble. Of, oh, look at the new leaf. It's so pretty. My white lizard, that's the newest leaf. Isn't it so pretty? I stole this one from my mom. I steal a lot. My mom is honestly awesome. She gives me, she gave me this. I stole from her too. I cut it off. This is the Addisonia I was talking about. This is rough. Yeah, that part had really bad spider mites. But we put a kiki paste on here and it's growing another leaf out there. So we'll see, we'll see. I'll probably update once that's done. Same with my Florida. It's finally making a leaf. Um, so yeah, my little Cebu variegated plant. 
Um, this guy was a cutting, but now he's growing in the back there. My Milano Crescent, I believe. Yeah, it is. Um, sorry, my hands are like everywhere. I apologize if I'm making people dizzy. <laughs> and also I have hiccups, but um, yeah, I've already done a video on this, so I don't really need to, but if you guys have any questions on anything in my home or how I do things, let me know. I am going to be downsizing and then I will probably make a video talking about why and sharing what it will look like after that because I just... Like this to me is maybe beautiful for some people, but for me it's just, it's just too much, you know? So same with the top of that. Like I just need to figure out ways to properly um, decorate with these plants instead of just having it chaos. So I will get to that and figure it out, okay? Um, thanks for watching. I hope it was fun to see my changes. Um, yeah, there's really not much difference, just a little bit. I also, I just, I can't, I don't know if I want that there. Tell me if you guys like it or not. I just, I think I want it in a different room, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to check out our Etsy page. We did list a whole bunch of macro rises in there, and um, they've been going really fast. We've sold about 30 of them. No, about maybe 20. Um, and they sold out really fast. This is a different parent plant, so they're a little different looking, but they're still beautiful. Uh, definitely worth checking out. But, yep, thanks for watching. If you watched the whole thing, you're awesome, and I'll see you next time.